Heading into the last few days of our Lanzarote camp, we've decided to compress days 3, 4 and 5 into one video. Harry's season is drawing forever closer, so we've done this to make it all work on a time front. Uh, so, I was in here. Morning, you know what sort of time it is. Okay, it's got a dish. So, got there? I don't know. Um, got the wetsuits on just to get a feel for it, really. Go on. Uh, test what it's like. Feels very quick, which is nice. Um, and we've got a sort of strength and hypoxic session today. But, yeah. Got more water? Yep. <laughs> we have got a 120k ride, um, but it's a bit flatter than yesterday, so it should be alright. Yeah, well, it was a bit hilly yesterday, um, so yeah, it should be, I don't know how long it'll take, but we'd, we'd go just steady miles. Uh, go to a few cafes, have some coffee. Um, like I said, we've already had a swim, and then we will get back, have a bit of chill time, refuel, and then head out for a run. We've got an hour, steady run. We'll go up to the White Arches. Um, oh, and that'll be done for today. So it'll probably be around four, six hours today, six hours-ish. Yeah, probably. We'll see what happens. But unfortunately, my bottle on the front of the Giant is leaking. So I've just got the little one on the uh, down tube and then I'm gonna have this in the back of the moped. We spent most of the morning taking shots at Instagram. It was then greeted with some unfortunate news about Kirk. Kirk, unfortunately, has had to go back. He's having a bit of problems with his knee and basically we thought it was just the best idea for him to go back, relax, roll it out um, and then hopefully be ready for the next next couple of days because we've got a big one on Saturday so there's no point in digging himself into a hole um, but yeah obviously look at the scenery it's pretty nice uh, yeah nice view um, so basically we've come down this way and then we're gonna head around and over up this mountain up here um, should be quite nice up to Mirador, hopefully down to Orzola and then back towards the hotel. Uh, and I don't really know where I'm going, I'm just making it up. <laughs> we'll, f we'll find a way. Uh, yeah, and we've been taking some pretty cool shots, so if you want to see more shots, or if you haven't seen um, our last couple of shots, then check out our Instagram because we've got some cool stuff on there. We continued our journey up the back way of Tabiasco, and with not wanting to repeat similar footage from the video yesterday, we decided to actually take the bird to the sky when we went to the back way of Mirabel. But I'm going to be saving this footage for an edit you'll see later on in the video. This edit will include the footage we collected from tomorrow and the day after, all in the attempts of producing what some might say is a naughty edit. Alright, here's what bomb Latham. <laughs> Uh, got a bit more of a chill day today because we've got a big day tomorrow. We're still going to go out on the bike, do a swim. Um, but right now we're watching the Sands Beach Aquathlon. Um, getting some footage for them because we said we would. Uh, so we'll send that on over and just supporting some, some athletes. And it's really good to see. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 right. So we finished watching the aquathlon. Um, mm -hmm. It was good, and then just got some more water, um, some vital donuts, and then we're going to head out towards Zola for a bit of an easy spin. See how Kirk's knee holds up. Um, get some food and then head back. And then we've got to swim after that. Ready for the big day tomorrow. We're just coming up to the White Arches now. Uh, always the first climb of the day. It's pretty hot today actually, so pretty sweaty already. Um, what we're gonna do is just take a steady ride down towards Zola. Kirk's gone on a little bit ahead. 
we started um, a bit of ahead of us just to get a head start. Hopefully his knee's okay and we can get the course done tomorrow, but we'll have to see how it is. I don't want him to push himself into any injury or anything. Uh, but yeah, so steady ride down to Azola, get some food, head back, probably be about 60 to 70 K. Um, and then we'll get in the pool and potentially do an easy run as well. But we'll see, we'll see what sort of time we're at, to be honest. Uh, we got a big day tomorrow, so we want to prep for that. So, uh, quickish turnaround, and then we're doing a bit of technical work in the pool. Um, it's cooled down a little bit now, which is nice. So it's a good time to get in the pool, and then we'll do some sort of stretching and activation before we head for dinner. Yeah. What? Oh. 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 <laughs> we're gonna dive in. Who's got that in the middle? Yeah, no, I thought he was going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 he knows that you're a massive bully coming out. <laughs> <laughs> A week in the sun might have just got to us a little bit too much. With one day left and most of the training out the way, a cheeky giggle was never going to hurt anyone. Um, and we're going to go to a uh, Italian tonight to have to carb up basically, get some, get some big calories in. Yeah. Um, cheesy garlic bread, carbonara, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and that's just to start and then I'll... Uh, <laughs> Get someone else from my main. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing the Ironman course today, or we should be doing most of it. Um, it's about 180k, I think, riding. Uh, so it should take us. I mean, we're just going to go steady. Maybe have a couple of stops. Probably be like six hours of riding. Uh, so good, good amount of time in the saddle, and uh, yeah, because this is the last day, so we're just going to make the most of it, enjoy ourselves, get some cool shots, do a little run off the bike. Um, if you make it. If we make it, yeah. And then um, tomorrow, see we're leaving in the morning, so we're going to pack up the bikes today, but leave some run kit out and just do like a nice steady hour and a half run in the morning, just go up, hit some trails. Um, and yeah, enjoy the last morning we've got here. Cool. Hi guys, so we've come to the end of our training camp here at Sands Beach. Um, it's been absolutely epic, had some really good bike miles, great swim sessions, good running. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we look forward to being back next time. It's been really good and I hope you guys um, have enjoyed the footage or if there's footage to come. Um, and if you haven't checked out social media, then please do. Uh, because we've got some really good shots on there and check out the Sands Beach social media as well um, Would definitely recommend this place even if you're just coming for a holiday and just chill. It's absolutely amazing But if you're coming here to train um, Ride your bike Swim run whatever then I can't think of a better place to come. It's like it's absolutely amazing So definitely look forward to the next training camp Okay. <sighs> bye. Bye. See ya. <sighs> Right, bye, Kirk. Let me, man. See you later.
This ends our free video extravaganza from our trip to Lanzarote. Lots of things happening in the next couple of days and no time to waste. So if you've enjoyed the video, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one.